Come on, everybody. To the enemy's camp. Come on, everybody. Took back what he stole from me. Took back what he stole from me. Yes! I went to the enemy's camp. Took back what he stole from me. Come on, everybody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can you believe? Yes, Lord. Come on, everybody. Hallelujah. It's one of the old school songs. What the Lord Hallelujah Thank you Jesus Can you believe He saved me He turned my life around So I'm going to go ahead and do 45. <laughs> Praise God. Amen. Bow your heads. Father, in the name of Jesus, oh God, we thank you. Father, for all that has took place today, God, we thank you. Brother, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, God, have your way today, God. Every person that may be viewing this, Lord God, we pray that you will make, make Lord God, make your face to shine upon them, Lord God. That you will touch them. Touch me today, God. Give me words of wisdom, words of knowledge, words of exhortation. Lord God, in the name of Jesus, as we walk through your Bible, as we walk through the living word, Father, in the name of Jesus, let me not just read the letter, Lord God, but Lord, let it read it in the spirit, Father. Lord, you say, Lord God, the letter kill it, but the spirit making it alive. And God, by your power and by your spirit, Lord, you said, them that have an ear, let them hear what the spirit of God has saying, is saying unto the church. Let everybody say amen. amen. God bless you. You may have your seats. Get your Bibles, amen. Get your Bibles to Genesis. Genesis chapter 3. Genesis chapter 3. Genesis chapter 3. Genesis chapter 3. Yes. Genesis chapter 3. Genesis chapter 3. Hallelujah. And when you get it, when you find it, let's stand for the reading of the word. Amen. Genesis chapter 3. We're not gonna we, we know the first the first verse about what God made a man and a woman in the Garden of Eden. Somebody say amen. Amen. And the serpent came in the garden as well. Yeah. Amen. Y'all hear me? He was there. 
Even in all the glory of God, Satan comes to church. Yeah, he does. Yeah, he does. Yeah, he does. I ain't getting no amens. I only hear one does. amen over here. Yeah, That's why I got him over here, so he can be my amen caller. Come on now. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. Yes, sir. Satan uh -huh. comes in the midst of glory. Uh -huh. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. See, I can, I can go, I can walk with that right there. Right there, right there. Yeah, yes, sir. I can walk right there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Cause he comes, cause y'all know he's been in heaven too. That's right. That's right. That's right. He's been in heaven too. Somebody say he's been to heaven. He's been to heaven. Yes, so he knows what y'all trying to get to. That's right. Amen. You haven't been there yet. Oh. Oh. You trying to get there? Yes, sir. I'm letting y'all stand for a little bit so you can see how I feel when I'm standing up here preaching. <laughs> Come on, man of God. Come on, man of God. We stand yeah. with you. <laughs> so you can get the understanding of what Jesus, Pastor, be standing up there all that time. Yeah. So you can get the feeling of what we go through. Come on, man of God. Somebody say amen. amen. Satan comes when you got glory around you. Right. Yes. Amen. He comes in the midst of glory. Yes. Yes. And he ain't, scared, he ain't scared of the glory. Because no, he's, he's used to the glory. Hey. He's used to it. Come on, you trying to get used to it. Come on, he lived in it. Yes. You trying to live in it. Oh, and got a problem. Jesus. Oh, 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 oh. My God. Yes, sir. You trying to live in it and you got a problem with it. problem with glory. <laughs> My God. Come on, man. I know I'm talking, y'all. Because yeah. yes, a lot of our flesh can't even handle hey. too much of it. That's right. Amen. That's why some folks can't come to church every Sunday. Amen. Yes, God. Well, okay. Yes, God. So he came uh -huh. with all his glory is going on. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. He came uh -huh. when God was doing something. Yes, yes, yes. He came uh -huh. when he knew God was there. That's right. Amen. Watching over it. That's right. Amen. And he still came. Yes. Y'all think Satan comes because glory is around? Y'all think he don't come? Y'all don't think he don't bother you? Come on, come on. But he bothered the children of it. I mean, the children here in the, in the scripture, Adam and Eve. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Somebody say amen. Amen. So I gave you the foundation of that real quickly, but let's go over to the 15th verse. Amen. 14 verse, daughter, would you please read, please? Give me some anointing on her mic. Hallelujah. She got the yellow. Come on. Talk to me, daughter. Amen. And the Lord said, and the Lord God said unto his serpent, uh -huh. unto, the serpent unto the serpent, because thou hast done this, because thou hast done this, thou art cursed above all cattle. Come on and read. And above every beast of the field, every beast of the field, upon thy belly shall thy go. Yeah. Upon yeah. thy belly shall thou go. Yeah. And thus shall thou eat all the days of thy life. Come on and read. Yes. And I will put enmity, enmity between thee and the woman, uh, between thee and the woman. And between thy seed and her seed. Between thy seed and her seed. And, seed and, uh -huh. and, seed, yeah, yeah. and it shall bruise thy head. And it shall bruise thy head. And thou shalt bruise his heel. And you shall bruise his heel. You can sit down. Hallelujah. Come on here. So I need y'all to walk with me now. Come on here. Somebody say walk with the preacher. Walk with the preacher. Enmity is a state of feeling. Yes, it is. The definition of enmity. A state, a state of feeling. Of being oppressed, of or hostile against someone. That's him. That's him. That's him. Title of the message today. Listen to me, everybody. The title of the message today. Being born with a death threat. That's right. Jesus. That's right. A death threat. I don't think everybody heard us. A death threat. Somebody say, being born with a death threat. I don't think I don't think nothing on this side heard me over here. Somebody say, being born with a death threat. Now everybody together. Somebody say, being born with a death threat. Now I need y'all to say it one more time. Somebody say, being born with a death threat. Empathy. Satan came in there, uh -huh. disrupted God's plan. Yeah, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. Disrupted. Yeah, he did. Man didn't supposed to feel huh. death. Right, sir. Wasn't scared of death. Right, sir. Man didn't know he was naked until the devil uncovered his eyes. That's right, sir. Amen. Amen. The man never knew outside of God. That's right. Until Satan huh. tricked them out of his presence. Never knew outside of God. Y'all ain't talking back to me, y'all. Y'all gonna make me. Y'all gonna make me stay here longer. So I say, Hallelujah. Satan came, disrupted the fellowship. Like he's doing today. He's disrupting people's fellowship with God. Situations and things that's come up that gets people out of God. That makes them go another way. You standing in the heart of God. You standing in the heart. You looking at it, my Come on. All that glory. Adam was around. Yes, sir. Being in the presence of God. Walking with him in the day, in the coolness of the day. God having communion with you. But now you're hiding in bushes. Now you're naked. Now you see that you're naked. Y'all ain't sitting up here. The enemy tricked him out. Y'all ain't sitting up here. The enemy tricked him out. It's God place. So I'm preaching to one person up in here, y'all. It's God place. <laughs> he tricked him out of his God place. Like the devil is tricking a lot of us out of our God place. Talk about it. Being born with a death threat. Satan came with a death threat. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. He don't like you. No, sir. You're right. Y'all think because people sacrifice to the devil, y'all think the devil like them. You think the witchcraft workers, you think the devil like them because they sacrifice to him? And they sacrifice to get more power so they can manipulate and make control somebody? Don't you know witches do that? But they know they don't know. They're serving a person that don't like them. You giving your leaders to a demon that don't even care nothing about you. He'll give you power and then destroy you. Yes, he will. Y'all ain't saying that to me. So they sacrifice it to an idol. They sacrifice it to a demon, and they ain't getting no no retribution. What they gonna get is death. That's right. That's right. Somebody say, Amen. Amen. So Satan came in the garden and, and messed up God's plan. Yeah, yeah. But God had a plan in the plan. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Yes, Somebody say, God had a plan in the plan. Because it didn't surprise God. God didn't fall off the throne and fell out because Adam messed up. God, y'all ain't sitting under here. You, when you mess up, God ain't going to stop being God because you mess up. God saw it. He knew it. <laughs> it's your birthday. Go ahead. <laughs> Come on, sir. Thank you, sir. I think I will, sir. God put two trees in the garden. Yes, sir. If God didn't want it, he wanted to see what they're going to do. Come on, Come on up. He tried. He didn't try him by evil. He just tried to see if they loved him enough on, uh -huh. to see which one you're going to choose. Which one you going to choose? Look at me, everybody. I need your eyes up here. It's just like y'all, like some of us chill by a lot of children. And even like us, Sister Lisa, when we were young, our mama told us not to touch stuff. That's right. And we touched it anyway. Yeah, yeah, we, did. we need to start using reverse psychology on our children. Yeah. Go ahead and touch it. Go ahead and marry that boy. Go ahead. Y'all ain't saying that here. Yes. 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 You told me to do it. Yeah, go ahead and do it. I told you to go ahead and smoke that crack cocaine. Oh, go ahead and do it. Yes. Maybe you won't do it. Maybe you won't. Come on, Apostle. Because now when you tell people not to do stuff, that's the stuff that they do. That's right. Come on. Why y'all ain't talking back to me, y'all? Oh, go ahead and steal that thing that you want. Uh -huh. Go ahead. I ain't going to bother you. Uh -huh. I'm not going to whoop you for it. Uh -huh. Maybe you won't steal. Because uh -huh. now it seems like you got to use reverse psychology. Because the stuff we tell you not to do, you do it anyway. That's right. And that's what happened with Adam and Eve. That's right. God told him not to touch that tree. Don't, don't eat from that tree. 
He said, because that's off limits to you, but I got it here. God could have cut the tree out. Yeah. But God didn't take the tree out. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. left it right there yeah, yeah. to see if you're going to be obedient or not. Yeah. Yes, sir. Woo. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Somebody say, be born with a death threat. Born with a death threat. Everybody say, being born with a death threat. Being born with a death threat. Now, in this 15th verse, uh -huh. there was a death threat. Come on, come on, come on. God told us come on. that there was going to be enmity. Come on. Against you uh -huh. and the seed of man. Uh -huh. Satan had a seed against God. He had a seed against God's man. Stand right there. Stand he had a seed. Of, he had an enmity. He was, he was mad at you. He's mad at man. Y'all hear what I said? He's mad. You know why? Because what God did, he's replacing man with Satan. He's replacing us. Y'all ain't sitting here. He's replacing, giving us the kingdom of God. Y'all ain't sitting Yes. Can I preach it, daughter? Come on, somebody. Yes. Somebody say amen. amen. So Satan, if the Bible tells us that Satan has come down with great wrath. Yes, yes, yes. The, the Bible says the accuser of the brethren has come down with great wrath. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, apostle. Yes. He's come to the Bible, says that he, he the John 10 and 10. Yes. Praise God, John 10 and 10. It says, the thief come not but to steal. Uh -huh. To kill and to destroy. But Jesus, and I come that you may have life and that you may have that more abundantly. I receive the life more abundantly. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Witchcraft workers need to stop messing with the Ouija board. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. See, y'all have you need to start going back to your, your line of your lineage. And see where your grandmama, your great great grandmama, or your great granddaddy messed with some Ouija boards. Uh, I ain't sitting out here. We got to get the generational curse dealt with. Come on, break the seed. Break the seed, Apostle. We wonder why you're so rebellious. We wonder why you're going through what you're going through. We wonder why. Yeah, hallelujah. It seemed like nothing. Amen. You can't get through your head. Y'all ain't sitting out here. We have to find out the lineage of where the rebellion, rebellion comes from. Y'all right. make me preach hard, y'all. Y'all make me preach hard. Right. Preach hard. Enmity uh -huh. between the woman and the man seed. Uh -huh. The woman seed yes. and the man seed. Come on, come on. Satan seed and Satan. God seed. Uh -huh. Y'all hear me? I need y'all listen to me. Why do you think the devil's after the man? Because yes, right. we got the we carrying seed. Yes, right. A woman can't carry a seed without the seed, bro. Hey. You can't get pregnant without a man. Y'all ain't said that here. Ain't no two men. Y'all ain't no two men can make a seed. A woman is the incubator yes, for the seed. Yes, why why y'all ain't talking back to me, y'all? The woman is the incubator yes, for the seed. Yes, come on, come on, come on. Come on. No two women can't do that. No sir, no, no sir. You can try it all you want to. No sir. You can act like you're a dude. Act like you're a stud. You ain't saying to put your pants down, pull your britches down, put you some mustache on your face. Y'all ain't saying that here. You can act like a dude all you want to, but you cannot do what a dude can do. That's right. That's right. Hallelujah. There you go. Hallelujah. You still a woman. Come on now. Come on now. <laughs> These men are going to get shots and trying to y'all ain't sitting up trying to enhance themselves. Y'all ain't sitting there and cutting stuff off and cutting stuff on and putting stuff on. Y'all ain't sitting there, but you can never be a woman. That's right. That's right. Amen. Even if you do do that, you're still inside a man. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Oh Jesus! Y'all can say what you want to say. We still don't know you as Joe. Not as Susie. Y'all ain't saying nothing here. We still gonna put Joe on your doom grave. Y'all ain't saying nothing here. <laughs> Can I get an amen up in here? Amen. But the enemy, 
is strategic against the male seed. I need y'all to be listening to me, y'all. That's the reason why the devil can't stand man. Come on. Male is who God first put in the garden. Not woman first. Man first. Man got all the authority. God gave Adam everything in the garden. Adam had dominion, thank you, sir. Adam had authority. Now Adam had, amen, praise God. Everything that was up under Adam. Amen. 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 True, true, true. Amen. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Worthy. Yes, Jesus. Enmity. I said true. Yes, sir. It was something that Satan see. I'm gonna kill all the men. I'm gonna take them away from their authority. Adam gave up our authority. Y'all hear me? Adam in the garden gave up our authority. Y'all hear what I just said? But the second Adam, which is Jesus Christ, coming in the flesh, who condemned the y'all ain't seen the condemned step sin in the flesh. And Jesus restored our authority. Restored our dominion. I ain't saying nothing to me. I'm preaching hard and y'all saying amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Read it again, daughter, the 15th verse real quickly. Come read it again. Read it again. Read it. And I will put enmity, enmity. between thee and the woman. Yes. Thee and the woman. And between thy seed and her seed. And between thy, thy seed and her seed. Read. He shall bruise thy head. He shall bruise thy head. And thou shalt bruise his head. He yes. So Jesus, right here. Yeah. When Adam messed up. God already had a plan in place. That's right. Read it. Right. I already got a plan in place, devil. You came in here to mess this up. You made this man right here, which is the father of all men. Y'all ain't telling here out of this one man, all of the universe, hallelujah, all the people out of this world is out of this one man. And because of one man, sin, all have sin, and came short of the glory of God. Amen. Amen. That's the word. So I say be born with a death threat. Being born. Read that 16th verse, daughter. Read. Unto the woman he said, uh -huh. I will greatly multiply thy sorrows. Thy sorrows, read. Thy conceptions. Thy conceptions. In sorrow thou shalt bring forth children. You shall bring forth children. And thy desire shall be to thy husband. Your, your desire shall be to thy husband. And he shall rule over thee. He shall rule over thee. Give it to us. Give it to us so she'll read it, baby. Thank you. Thank you. Empathy. Read it. A feeling or condition of hostility. Hostility. Hatred. Hatred. Thank you. Ill will. Ill will. I can't stand you. Animosity. Animosity. I got some against you. Antagonism. Antagonism. So Satan. Yes. 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 Somebody said being born with a death threat. Okay, let's go to Exodus. Let me prove it to you because some of y'all still looking at me with, with your headlights. Look at me. Let's go to Exodus, Exodus first chapter 1. Exodus chapter 1. Praise God, verse number 21. Praise God. Come on, somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody say being born with a death threat. Hallelujah. A death threat. A statement. A statement of in. in. Let's find that. Get the definition of it in, in, in uh, uh, threat. Threat. Get the definition of threat. So, so, so Harris, you go to chapter 1 of Exodus, verse number 21. Begin reading. And it came to pass. And it came to pass. Because the midwives feared God. Uh -huh. That he made them houses. He made them houses. Read. And Pharaoh charged all his people. Read. Saying, every son that is born. Uh -huh. You shall cast into the river. You shall cast into the river. And every daughter he shall say. Y'all hear that? So we ain't got no problem with y'all women. The devil ain't got no problem with the women. He got a problem with the male seed. Because you know, oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. You know why he got a problem with the men? Why y'all ain't looking at me? Look at me for a moment. You know the reason why he ain't got no problem with the women? Because y'all can't do it without a man. But guess what? The man carried the seed. 
And you know what? If we keep carrying the seed and we keep bringing forth the seed, guess what? We'll keep bringing forth sons of God. We'll still be bringing forth men in the kingdom. Y'all ain't saying nothing here. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Read the threat. Read it, daughter. A declaration of intention or, uh, or determination. Uh, determination. To inflict punishment. I inflict and punishment. Injury. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Injury. Etc. He, in, he, retaliate, he, in retaliation for or conditionally uh, open. Y'all hear that? Uh -huh. So Satan got a retaliation against y'all. Yes, All of us. That's right. Because we are carrying something. Y'all right. hear me? Thank you, daughter. Right. We are carrying something. Amen. Here in Moses' time, yeah. Pharaoh was mad at Because yeah, the midwife was having a son, yeah. and he heard yeah. that somebody's been thrown off his throne. Yeah. That's right. His Amen. throne was threatened. That's right. Amen. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to kill every child That's right. every two right. years up. Right. All the boy child. Right. All the boy children, right. I'm going to destroy them. Right. Drown them. Yes, sir. That's what he said. Because I heard that there was somebody coming after me yeah. that's greater than me. Yes. Yes. Somebody say, born with a death threat. Born with a death threat. You are born with a death threat. Come on, man of God. Hallelujah. Come on, man of God. You are born with a death threat. Yes, God. Y'all know that? Y'all yes, know there's a warning posted for you. Ah, ah, there. ah, <laughs> yes, sir. There's a most warning poster for you. Hey. Warning poster in hell. Hey. <laughs> Guess what? Some of y'all ain't feared in hell. Uh oh, uh oh, apostle. Them demons going down to that warning poster area. Oh, we ain't worried about her. Yeah. Oh. We ain't worried about him. Yeah. Oh, we worried about this one right here. Yeah, 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 yeah. I assigned you to that one right there. Because yeah. these other ones ain't doing nothing, dog. Come on. Yeah. They Come cigarettes on. taking them out. Come on. They flesh taking them out. Come on. We ain't got to bother with them. Come on. They don't love God enough. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. They husband taking that out. Come on. Come on. They barely go to church anyhow. Don't worry about this one. Don't worry about that one. Yes. Don't worry about that one. But this is the one we need you to take. Pay attention to that one right there. Yes, of course. You're supposed to be feared in hell. Come on, apostle. Known in heaven. Yes, God. That heaven knows who you are. Yes, God. And hell knows who you are. Yes, God. Hey. Somebody say, don't be born with a death threat. Being born with a death threat. Bible says in 2 Corinthians uh -huh. chapter 4 verse number 7 uh -huh. but we have this treasure uh -huh. in uh -huh. earthly verse that's vessels that the singly the, what is it? the singly uh -huh. of go on get that, get that for me real quick the excellency there we go of the power may be of God and not of us get it real quick sister Harris 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse number 7. Amen. But we have this treasure. But we have this treasure. That earthly vessels. That is excellency. That excellency. Come on, read. Of the power may be of God. Not of, be of God, not of us. Not of us. Uh-huh. We are troubled on every side. We are troubled yeah. on every side. Yeah. Not this. Y'all, y'all, y'all better, y'all better stop this, y'all. Yeah. We are troubled on every side. We are complex. Come on and read. But not in despair. We are not in despair. Uh -huh. We are persecuted. And not forsaken. And not forsaken. Cast down. Cast down. But not destroyed. But not destroyed. Always bearing about in his body yes. the dying of the Lord Jesus. So you're supposed to be dying every day. That's right. Oh, George, That's right, man of God. Because there's a death threat on your life. That's right, man of God. So you have to understand that you're, every day that you're supposed to be dying to you. Come on, sir. You don't want to wait to all these New Year's revolutions and resolutions. That's right. That's that's right. I call them resolution lies. That's right. Then. <laughs> so on, I say, Amen. Come on, Omar. So number one was Genesis. Amen. We was talking about Amen. Praise God. Satan coming between the seed. Amen. amen. Praise God. But Jesus told us, Amen. He was gonna bruise his he his head, and he's gonna bruise his heel. That's right. That's right. Exodus tell us, amen, praise God, about the Pharaoh wanted to throw all the boy babies, amen, in the, in the canal. Right, right. Somebody say amen. amen. Now let's go to St. Matthew.
chapter 2. Yes, amen. St. Matthew chapter 2. Praise Somebody say, walk it out. Somebody say, walk it out. Walk it out. Walk it out, Father. Matthew chapter 2. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Hallelujah, Jesus. Your word. Thank you. I'm gonna say it again. I ain't scared. No, you're not. Amen. No, you're not. Amen. no two men can have no baby. Amen. 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 No two women can have no baby. Amen. Amen. Somebody say amen. amen. That goes against God. Amen. That's an abomination. Y'all ain't saying nothing here. Amen. They want us. They want us to eat it. They, they bullying us right now on television. The other day, me and my daughter, I was sitting in there, we were looking at TV, and the, and the sub came I made mean, two men, and then the one man throwing one man up on, up on the bounce back of the door, and he rushing up on him, kissing him like he's a woman. Talk about the I said, oh my God, on national television, regular show. So now, if my baby was nine years old, two years old, three years old, they're seeing two men kissing. So now, we're supposed to accept it. Oh, baby, this is the way of life. Talk about that. So they want us to accept it and don't do nothing about it. Come on, somebody. And now, you. Y'all see this president that's trying to, he's trying to get elected. He's trying to get elected and he got a husband and kissed the man on national television. And then we sit up here as Christians looking at, y'all ain't sitting here and we ain't bombarding this stuff and we ain't saying nothing. That's right, man of God. That's right. If that man get elected, y'all know where we going. We have, we in hell already. Y'all ain't saying nothing. We are almost there already. Somebody say amen. Let's go to Matthew. Look at this, Sister Harris. Amen. Praise God. Verse number. Amen. Praise God. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Go to verse number uh, 14. Read. When he arose, uh -huh. he took the young child and his mother by night. Read. And departed into Egypt. Into Egypt. And was there until the death of Herod. Until the death of Herod. That it might be fulfilled which was spoken of the Lord by the prophet. Read. Saying, out of Egypt I have called my son. I have called my son. Read. Then Herod, when he saw, then Herod, when he saw that he was marked by, of the wise men. Read. He was wroth. He was mad. Yeah, he, was. he was upset. Yeah, he, was. he had enmity. He, had, he was angry. Yeah. He had hostile. Yeah. Read. And yeah. sent forth uh -huh. and slew all the children that were in Bethlehem. Read. And in all the coast thereof, yes. from two years old and under, according to the time which he had diligently inquired of the wise men. Y'all hear this? Yes. He was 